Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Vitamin C Podcast. I am your host, Casey. This is your host, Cody. What's up? Excellent. Uh, uh, today's timestamp <laughs> is October 1st. It is a Friday. It do be a Friday. Unfortunately, Nick wasn't able to make it. He's probably sleeping right now. Yeah. So the lazy stoner but, bastard. But. Drinking the devil's lettuce. But. <laughs> drinking. I mean, I guess they got oils. I mean, but you don't really drink it. Uh, no, no, it just hurt. But it just hit me. Anyway, anyways, in his honor, we do have the pink light. It is very nice. I feel like an e girl already. <sighs> no, 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 no. If you were an e girl, we would put on the the looping color switches. Not necessarily. Not? Yeah, most of the time. But Either way, we're in spooky season now. Spooky season. So welcome. Spooky season. So, so, so when it comes time, we will have the vitamin creeps episode Ooh. is coming up. Oh, yeah. Are we going to have one for Thanksgiving? No, what not really. It? Bro, I'm so ready for Thanksgiving. Yo, you already thinking about all that food. I you're just thought there, about it today. Like, mm. After watching you in New Worlds kill all those turkeys, I'm totally down for some cranberry all sauce right, well, and shit and all the stuffing. And just all. to get this cast up and open moving, let's uh, let's hear your opinions on why are you playing footies with me on the, on Ooh, the table? Why are you on my side of the you're table? You're trying to you're trying to some duck. You're trying to guzzle some duck. No, I got one. Trying of those. to some duck. I don't need any more. Thanks. All right, cool. Um. Let's hear your opinion on New Worlds. Let's let's hear how you feel about these this new crazy sorry. This new crazy MMO. Ah. So I came into this with no prior knowledge except for Yes. I heard I saw the trailer. Something about it was bad. Yeah, I saw I saw okay. So like a few months ago or whatever, me, Nick, and a few other people were in a call. And we were like, oh, what's New Worlds? And like, because I heard about it from uh, the streamer Asmongold. I heard about something about it, but I didn't really understand what he was talking about. Because he, you know, he talks about a lot of MMOs and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, I think that's an MMO, right? And he, and uh, Nick's like, yeah. And and from what Nick said at the time, it wasn't doing well. It was getting backlash probably, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But the trailer made it look crazy cool. Oh sure, I think but, if I remember the trailer correctly, it's like a bunch of people like Yeah. From but different after, times yeah. trying to collect well, this it's, like it's um it's colonial times essentially, like Mayflower type beat. Uh oh, Mayflower type beat. Which is why there are I guess you could say that, that kind of the reason why they have different armors. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I have no idea. But it's cool. It's a little bit of fantasy mixed in with colonial times, so it's really cool. And I didn't give a sh- single shit about it until Bryce bought it for me, mm-hmm. which I had no idea he was going to do. Uh, he out of the blue, he just you know, after thinking, okay, me and Nick are not gonna play it, we're not gonna buy it, whatever. It's probably gonna be another shit MMO. Blizzard was on the downfall, all that stuff. So I'm like, whatever. Bryce out of the blue buys it for me. He says. Guess what, bitch? We're grinding the shit out of this. And I'm like, God damn it. And I'm like, wait a minute. Is this that game that was supposedly shit back then? And so they changed. I don't know what they changed, but uh, fuck. It is very different, in my opinion, from the trailer that I saw uh, a while back. And I genuinely don't think there has been another game that I want to play. Like... You are making faces. Is it that bad? What did you eat today? I don't know. I think it might have been the greasy taco meat, dude. Oh. I got, I got, I. Mine, s- my ass was on fire earlier today. No, no, like and before, mine was going. <laughs> you know, like before before this podcast started, I went downstairs and I had like a chocolate river shit. <laughs> like you know, I, I, I was piss shitting. Like I was, like that yeah. shit was like I opened the tap and it was just like <laughs> like all up in the toilet, do all up in the toilet bowl. <laughs> 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 no no that shit was like straight water like i was like oh my god like it was like coming out like a fucking like uh, power washer it was like it was like i could like rocket myself off that toilet if i tried hard enough that's fucking dangerous but propelled. 
with all those imagery out of the way, it's just been bowel problems. It's just been like bowel problems. Like it only happened once we got here. Like as soon as we got home, everything the gates were well, released. Today, the kraken had emerged. This morning, right? So I, I had water. tacos. I <laughs> mud water. I had tacos for dinner last night, right? Uh-huh. And I was kind of holding it all in or whatever, and it finally digested, I guess. And then this morning, I was like, I was like, I was like, what the fuck? And it just went, and it was yelling at me. I'm like, okay. And then I ran into the bathroom, right? And I'm like, this is a little soupy. And I'm like, hot oh, birds! But Cody, you love hot soupy shits. <laughs> Yo, you right, though. You know it, baby. <laughs> But no, like, oh my god, I don't know what it is, but it's like, taco today meat, just been... taco seasoning. I'm thinking it's, it's the also seasoning. been we've also been like working and like building up heat, so like greasy taco meat and like heat build up in the body. Tacos probably are kind of like a like chill meat. out thing. I I really shouldn't even that stretching it. Even that stretching it. Like you eat tacos, <laughs> like you're sitting around and yeah, just feeling like garbage. Like, you yeah. feel like something has crawled up inside you, died, and is now, like, <laughs> rotting inside of you. And You're then like, it decides to, like, liquid, liquefy and pour out. Yeah, it, as it rots, it liquefies. And then, like, the the death, okay, okay, the okay. death liquid that emerges from your rectum is just, like... <laughs> so, <laughs> me and Casey had a challenge for each other uh, today. And I think... We might make something out of this eventually. Oh. I don't know. Was this me definitely... making you angry at work? No. Uh, no, I think I want to do this thing where we try to get each other to throw up. Oh, no, that was your decision. That's yeah. not a. I not, really want to do that. That's not. That ain't it. This I want to do. I want to do it so badly. This ain't the one. And I hate throwing up, but like, god damn, that's such a funny this ass idea. Nah, this ain't the one, though. Because we totally put imagery. Dude, in I'm our head. vomiting out my anus. Like I don't need any more <laughs> not fluid today. coming out. Not of today, me. but like at some point when we're both all right and we both say fuck it, why not? <laughs> today's the day. Today's the today's day. Today's the day. Today's the day. <laughs> um, and you wonderful people get to listen to that horrible shit. Yeah, we're just gonna have like a whole <laughs> fucking episode. <laughs> but um, no, New World is. <laughs> really oh, yeah nice. yeah let's go back to that. <laughs> uh no no new world is different from a lot of mmos i played i played like you know the mmos that are coming out that they're dog shit they're stupid they're either over anime mm-hmm. or they're like i don't know they're just hollow and the story is like black desert type beat not mm-hmm. you know black desert had an amazing character customization and that's all that was really good about it i didn't that and i guess some of the uh combat but fuck the story didn't give two shits about anything else and honestly new world i genuinely enjoy i get home wanting to play it i don't do that for games anymore i don't have another game not even fallout new vegas not even sotar i don't have a game that i genuinely look uh, yes, forward fallout to fallout new vegas my favorite mmo well, that's well. No, but you get what I'm saying. Like, what is what, I'm no? Dead. But you get what I'm saying. Like, I haven't had that since high school, like earlier high school. With like, oh damn, I want to go home and play Skyrim or something. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, I haven't yeah. had that for a game in a while. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, the queues are kind of long, but honestly, I think it's worth it. There has not been in a game. I mean, recently for me to like really delve into yeah i haven't had that sort of game so maybe if new world's that sort of game maybe i can you know that plug is, a, it is for me plug a few hours now. in uh, i did Jeff just uh it. i just recently got xbox app on my yeah. computer so i'll be able to play sea of thieves you, were, you should have it by default no uh, i had like the the console companion app that is xbox no there's like an xbox like app like they default oh. Oh, what the So I had fuck? to go and get that. I did, and I have, like, all all the games that I can play on my computer. All my shit's on an Xbox computer. Like, I can play, like, my Forzas. I can yeah. play Sea of Thieves. I can the play only bitch about Remnant. that is it might make you download it through the Windows thing. And no matter what internet you have or hardware you have, 
the uh, Windows Store has made it so well, we'll see. downloads take hours. We'll see. For I mean, right now, worse than the only one I'm really cared about. I really care about is Sea of Thieves. Yeah, because like I love Sea of Thieves. Do you see Sea of Thieves is a fun one. You mean Nick can play it? Yeah, yeah, we can play it on a computer. Well, I literally rebought the game on Steam when it was on sale. And I'll have a decent for quality microphone for us. Yeah, you will. Yeah. I'll actually be able to speak with you guys with decent quality audio. It's gonna be great. Yeah. I think it was gonna be fun. I like, really, be. I really do. It will be enjoyable. I really do. And Nick keeps buying new games, so you'll be, you'll Yo, be Nick there simping, in no time. Nick simping real hard he's on my simping. ass. He's not simping. No, he's, he's trying he's to catch simping. you up. He's trying to catch your that ass boy's up. Simping. He is trying to get you to play games with us. He's using his burger flipping <laughs> check to get me video games. Like, that. no, that man, that man is simping. What a legend, though. We all know what I'd look like as an e-girl, and that motherfucker is simping. <laughs> God damn. We already know I'm gorgeous. We I already mean, know. I mean, I mean, I don't know about that one, Chiefs. No, I'm gorgeous. Are you? Yeah. Is you covered I'll pull, in... I'll pull that shit up. No, I'm... Oh, God. I'm gonna pull it up. Uh, that ain't the only thing he's pulling up. <laughs> pull up this dick pull in his, your mouth. Pull up his diapers. My, my diapies. Your di- <laughs> God, that's disgusting. <laughs> That's hot. Broken shit ass. That's hot. <laughs> I couldn't tell that that's your finger when I first looked at that photo. It's a finger. Like it looks like it. Re- you know, the finger replaced your chin. It's a finger. And then there's me with a beard. <laughs> I totally look like a teacher. Oh, hey, class. So, uh, so uh, today we're going your to teacher's not in today. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be in. <laughs> um, Yo, are we putting this in the cast? Uh, we can try. I just. Uh, or on the Instagram. We'll see. I mean, for right now, I'm just worried about, like... Oh, Because yeah. I actually edited the last episode, but I didn't, didn't do, do shit. shit because so, which the episode made me was nervous. Fine. No, the episode's fine. I didn't have to do shit for the last episode. There's no cuts. There's no this, no that. All I did was throw it in, throw the banner mm-hmm. in, boom, we're done. But if that you, was it. If you want to, um, this week, since you already have it downloaded on your computer... Uh, fuck around with it and do I might I might just take the like, episode and do some funny little cuts fuck around with it like completely don't, there was a time where don't like don't save the file don't like save it I oh, I felt like being a little cheeky save it as a new thing I feel like being a little cheeky there was like a moment where yeah. you said you were talking some shit and I was tempted to just cut it out to make it seem like you didn't say shit I did that to you I think once you did but not like no because it was it wasn't like I think it was just it wasn't like actual talking shit. It was just filler talking shit. No, you didn't. You didn't, you dick. Uh, I don't think you said anything that bad. It was just like stupid. All right. Or it contained about work. I think no. I think one of our favorite edits. Oh, you know what? It was the time you blew up. It was the it was the time we were talking about work. I had to cut all that shit out. So the entire rant I cut out. Oh. That's what it was. You cut out a whole rant. Yeah. Damn. It was just stupid. A whole rant? Well, because we said we wouldn't talk about work. I love my rants. Or if we did, it was very, like, minimal. Listen, I could talk all day about fucking work. but That's the problem. I'm not going to That was the issue. It was taking up too much of the cast. I also love... Do you have any idea how many times last cast, like, especially toward the end of it, I have said, I'm not going to get into it, but then you say something and it just makes me get into it? That was what happened with the work thing. That happens so much <laughs> in this cast. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, it was something to do with, like, the Mario movie. Like, I was saying the Mario movie casting. I was said, I'm not going to get into it right now. And then, then I bring you up s- something. You said I'm like, something well, up. Chris Pratt isn't that bad. Well, and then we just, like, started speaking about it. I was like, oh, damn it. I literally just said, I got to get back to my Bayonetta points, and we're talking about the fucking Mario movie. If you don't want me to accidentally get you into it, just don't bring it up. Fine, I won't. I won't bring it up anymore. I won't bring that shit up anymore. Bring okay. These nuts up in your mouth. Oh my god! Oh I'm my. gonna fucking castrate <laughs> you and brand you like a fucking cow. <laughs> Send you to the farm. Is there grass on the farm? Yeah, all grass. All grass you can eat, big boy. <laughs> 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 Get on up there, boy. Go and get in. Go and get that grass. Come on. Come on, boy. Damn. <laughs> Ew. Anyway. You know what that reminds me of? What? I have no idea how I jumped to this. But uh, Charlotte's Web. Top. <laughs> no, Top Gear. Big, big, big. No, sorry. The Top Gear. The British Top Gear guys and how they had their, their other show on Amazon, um, The Grand Tour. 
well, they went to Columbia, and I don't know. I still don't know if it was a bit or if it was legit. But they went to this like farm or whatever, and they used donkeys. And he said, the one guy, the Colombian, said, he's like, the donkey is your first girlfriend, and everybody was laughing or whatever, and because you know you think it's a joke or whatever, and then they turned out they were fucking the donkeys. I mean, I. Uh, <laughs> You can't tell me I've never fucked a donkey. Come on, man. I can say that I've never fucked a donkey, Casey. Can Listen. you say this? Can you say the same? <laughs> what is that from? I've lived my life without fucking oh. a donkey. Can you say the same? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> my ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Can you imagine starting the game and hearing... Something about donkey fucking. And you, then he gets his you're head finally awake. Off. You were trying to fuck donkeys, right? Walk right into that imperial armor, <laughs> same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Empire's in the, <laughs> Empire's fine before you came along. No, donkeys are are fuckable before you came along. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I would have fucked that donkey and been halfway to Hammerfell. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the whole game's about fucking donkeys. Oh my god. What's wrong with him? Watch your tongue. That's you're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, <laughs> the true donkey fucker. <laughs> the true donkey fucker of Skyrim. <laughs> oh no. No, that's not right. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on the donkey from here. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Dude, there, we need to have a cast where I just try and recite the entire Skyrim opening. <laughs> Damn faithless Imperials. General Tullius, the military governor. <laughs> Are you fucking chewing ice right now, bro? No. Yo, you hear that? I thought that was like a car going no, through a puddle. No, that's some ASMR shit. Like, I got like the, the arms of the chair. Oh, and I'm rubbing okay. them softly with like my my sweatshirt. No, no, just like just like. What? Oh yeah, that's kind of nice. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's a mark cast for another time. Yeah, I do have some stories here. Oh, you have some stories because I have one too. Okay. Um, well, we'll start. We'll start with you. We'll start with yeah, you. Yeah, they're what not you, big uh, stories. What you got? We'll see what you got. So back in my day, back when I was Cody the Shadow Twenty Two. And then <laughs> very. I thought you said we weren't doing the throw up episode. <laughs> Which <Would> you... <laughs> this is a joke. Yeah. Okay. Don't even try with me. But I know you're gonna break. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> I can't. I could never act because of this shit. I no. could never act. I'd break immediately. You're gonna break. <laughs> no, like, hey, like. <laughs> See, like you can't even do it. Okay. All I have to do is look at you seriously, like, <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> Fucking Jesus! Good okay. lord. Okay, so back, back when I owned You're this, terrible. the wonderful <laughs> <laughs> the channel Cody the Shadow Twenty Two. <laughs> um, stop making faces, you fuck. I'm not making. <laughs> Straight face. That's all it was. Straight faced. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's just because you're funny looking. <laughs> anyway. It's just because you look like on. a beef is a butthead commercial. <laughs> kill me. Just kill me. <laughs> just kill me. I meant to say character, but I say kill me. My brain's like, nah. <laughs> We're not going to work. So back in the day. Okay. I think it was right before I changed it to. Phase the Wolf. Phase the Wolf. Oh, I so I <laughs> I played I played 15 FPS Minecraft and a Flappy Bird on the browser. Yeah, those were the days, baby. That's okay. My but, first, you, my first, but, but, uh, yeah. my first uh, <laughs> oh, video God. was on a browser game called Chaos Faction Two. Well, <laughs> it gets worse. Ooh. Young me. Ooh. Now, mind you, Phase the Wolf was a whole, like, I think, two years away from this version of me, mm -hmm. right? So, Cody the Shadow 22, in his underwear, in front of the TV, 
with a camera pointed at the TV to record Little Big Planet. Oh my god, that's right. Can we see you in like the reflection of the TV or something? Yep. <laughs> Do you have that vi- please tell me you have that video somewhere. I only started I only have the videos from failed phase the wolf blogs that no. didn't work. So unfortunately I don't have that. No. But just fucking <laughs> you totally can see my ass in fucking underwear in a chair and my middies out. <laughs> Through the TV screen, and, I, and I'm like, oh. God damn! I freaked oh out God. when I saw myself. Oh my God. I, was, I was like this. I'll hunch. I was like this. I was like, <laughs> just fucking yo, Mitty's just. I was like, out. I was like, no, 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 no. I, I shut it off, and I think I deleted oh my the God, video. You but... have to. If you didn't delete it, you have to find it. There's no way you kept Here's it though. Problem. You're you're anxious, little ass. There's no Here's way. Here's the problem. Right. You should have so kept it. That's fucking even, funny. Even if I kept it, it would have been deleted because it would have been on that storage drive. Oh. With the 10 years worth of shit. No. That yeah. was that would have been lost, so funny, though. I lost though. so much shit, dude. I lost so Record much Record a little shit. big play. You just see do little Cody with his fucking was, mids out. That was on That was on the... Um, oh, man. That would be so fucking funny. Uh, that was on the uh, laptop that I gave Mel. So that shit's gone. I did wipe it. Don't. But that that she remember? she's got she's got this video of you and your midi, and she's like, mm, this is mine. <laughs> He'll never know. That would be almost as bad as the uh, the smolder. The smolder. Um, I think I'd rather have my oh. midis out because that's technically child pornography. That mm, yeah. So they could get in trouble. Anybody could get in trouble if that was leaked. Still, it's fucking funny because oh, you're just hilarious. like <laughs> I can just imagine like doughy younger Cody and like sitting in his fucking underwear. Oh my right god! Right now, I'm like a polar bear. Back then, I was like the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> so, um, oh. yeah, no. So that was like probably one of the worst things ever. I also remember. Oh my my old Minecraft girlfriend, as soon as we broke up. My old Minecraft girlfriend we had, was British. We had a... English, we sorry. Had a, we had a breakup after two weeks of dating. <gasps> Rough, buddy. And we got... we. Dude, she ripped, like, my fucking self-esteem down. So I got mad and made an angry YouTube video about her. <laughs> Is this the one I'm thinking of? Yeah. And then... Um, right. Yeah. But... um, And then I took the video down because... She put. It, she's like, "This is fucked up," and I'm like, "Yeah, you right." <laughs> Shit, you right. But, you um, broke my fucking heart. But you right. You, you right, right. You right. That's beneath me. I shouldn't Dude, do that. you don't don't talk shit on but Minecraft other... girlfriends. All right? right. I'm still not over losing mine, man. Yeah, facts. <sighs> well, technically, my Minecraft girlfriend wasn't even the Minecraft girlfriend I wanted. The other chick that just ghosted out of the internet was the one I wanted, and we were pretty. We were pretty chill. But, um... Oh, I remember my first Minecraft The other girlfriend. story. The other story. Now, this is still young me, but I think older. When I was getting... Uh, you remember that those blue pair of glasses I had? I think. No. I don't know. Fuck it. I, I was going at this eye care place that worked with the insurance. It was kind of shitty. And I need new glasses. So I went there with my mom... And this was the, I think, the, this was before the Windows <laughs> Phone era. Uh-huh. So, this was the fake, shittier version, lied to from an AT&T employee uh, version of the the Motorola Razor. Is that the yellow one? No. Or no, no the, that's the Windows, Windows Phone, Phone was the yellow one. Yeah. The Motorola, you remember the Motorola Razor, right? It was like the hottest fucking Android for the time. Uh, it was right after I was out in Michigan and I went swimming with my track phone in my pocket by what, accident. What year would you say the Motorola Razor was? Oh, fuck if I remember, dude. Motorola Razor. Oh, no, nah, these are them new shits. No, 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 no. These, these are not it. No, they brought it back. I, they, I'm not talking about the. There's got to um, be like a classic. Is it? Was it like a flip phone or was it like a? No, it was. It was a solid plastic device. Was it the XT910? Two thousand four. 
around 2004. Motorola Razor 2004. Okay. So let's, 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 let's look at this. Are you sure it wasn't a flip phone? No, it wasn't. Because I'm the only Motorola Razor 2004 it I'm was, seeing is a flip It was flip the phone. first non flip phone I had. And it wasn't the Razor. It was the shittier oh, version of the Razor. Yeah, it was it was okay, so it was exactly the same as the Razor, right? The Razor was bigger and it was the exact same except for it was shittier yeah. and it was smaller. Mm -hmm. So I said I asked the uh, AT&T employee I said is this the exact same as the Motorola Razor but like just the smaller version and he said yes and I'm like okay I'll get the smaller version cuz my little I was little. So I'm like this will fit in my pocket better than the big one. And then yeah, you don't have your fucking wife chokers like you do now. <laughs> oh, my hands. Yes, your hands. I thought you meant the phone. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You don't you choke into? your wife with your phone. You choke your wife <laughs> with your hands. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> fucking just lean on it. Man, I was like, um, a, it was like an encore performance, right? Uh, but no. Uh, so I'm like, okay, Oof. and let me tell you the glitches, right? Uh -huh. Wi-Fi automatically turned off for no reason. Bullshit. Phone would freeze up. What the fuck? Uh, the... <laughs> shit would just get, like, deleted <laughs> for no reason. What? Yeah, it was great. It was really nice. <laughs> Pretty sure it's because I had porn. I didn't download anything. This bitch kept porn on his phone. No, I didn't keep it on the phone. Just watching porn apparently gave the phone enough problems. Mm -hmm. Also, the connection. Someone was, was like going to the wrong site. <sighs> Pornhub.com must have been the wrong no. site. Oh, you slipped into like some backwoods porn site somewhere and got like X videos. Pornhub.com. X hamster. Red tube. Thumbzilla. I didn't know what red tube. I don't know what Thumbzilla is though, which is weird. I've been around. <laughs> yeah, you've been you you looked a little harder than me. Mm. I gave up after a while and just stick to my mains. I started but, really looking when but, Pornhub <laughs> started doing that thing where they only have trending or they only uh, have uh, not trending uh, verified accounts. I hated that. That's when I started. I mean, like I get started. it, but like not everybody is underage, and there were some good fucking videos that are years old that will we'll never get back because of uh, that. Shit, I feel bad if some of those are underage. Damn. Okay. That was the reason. That's, well, mm. actually, no, sorry. That wasn't the reason they deleted them. That was the, they got caught and then had hey to delete man, them. I, there were some good amateur. Just like Blizzard. There were some Fucking. good amateur videos on that bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But uh, Some of my favorites were amateurs, but, uh, yes. well. Yikes. You see, well, they don't exist anymore, so. That is the sad truth. Anyway, your phone. Well, anyways, <laughs> the phone was shit, and... I walked in, so this is peak, I understand technology is pain and technology hates me, and I'm good at breaking shit. You are good at breaking shit, yes. So, what did, what did Dave call me today? Something Lord. The Lord of oh, something. Oh, the Lord of, like, Entropy? Yeah, the Lord, Lord of, entropy. of Entropy. I really like that. That has a nice Cody, the Lord of Entropy. Let me just double check the like, definition of Entropy. I hope that's the right word, because if not, I sound yeah. like a fucking monster. <laughs> or monster. Entropy. Entropy, a thermodynamic quantity representing the unavailability of a system's thermal energy for conversion into mechanical work, often interpreted as the degree of disorder or randomness in the system. Or lack I'm of Neo? order or lack of order or predictability. Gradual decline Wait. into disorder. Not I'm you. Neo. No, you're entropy. I'm the I'm the I'm the anomaly. No, you're fucking entropy from Crash Bandicoot. Fuck you. But anyways, uh, so I walk into this eyeglasses place, and there's a kid around our age at the time freaking the fuck out. He's like, why? Why does it keep doing this? He's like, he's like oh, technology hates me. I swear. And he's like, and I'm like, I look over to him like a veteran of like technology has scorned me. Son, you don't know what Son, I've been through. I feel your pain. You like I gave know. him, I gave, I, I just looked and I asked my, I looked at my mom. And she's like, just, just don't, just don't say anything. And I, I just wanted to go over ones. there. I just wanted to go over there, give him a pat on the shoulder, and be like, it'll get better. <laughs> I've seen the face you're making once. You know where I've seen it. My own. The mirror. The mirror. I feel your pain, brother. <laughs> <laughs> 
A little too southern there. <laughs> Damn straight, brother. A little too southern for me. Oh, oh. We're from the north. We're a northern. The northern. We're well, northern. Well, well, original yeah. 13 colonies. Oh, yeah, um, bud. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> wait. Oh, yeah, bud. <laughs> oh, yeah, bud, Canadian. <laughs> We're here in the fucking Finger Lakes. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking Yorkshire. <laughs> it's not even right. Sorry, no. Lund. I'm so sorry. I don't even know you. We've never <laughs> met. You threatened war on her. Though. I've threatened war. No, I threatened war in Vancouver. Oh, well, of course <laughs> <that's> I <enough>. know. <laughs> They've had a good for two long. <laughs> Can't keep a good thing going. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, um, so, yeah. was that, was that you, all yeah, for your yeah. phone what story? You, what did you booth. have in mind? I've got a booth. treat for you. So, okay, this, is a, the booth. this was a fun little story introduced to me by our, uh, our, our, buddy, Na- our buddy Mason. Uh, Sorry, not Nason. Wow. Not Nason. I was going to say Nason. Literally fusion. This is a story. It's just like a little, like, it's almost like a copy pasta kind of thing, almost. Yeah. And uh, it's just, the first time I read this, it made me laugh my ass off. I just wanted to revisit it and see if it was still fucking funny. Yeah. So this here is the story of the worst life ever. The story <laughs> of Kazuyuki Fujita's skull. Is he a member of Anvil? No. <laughs> So, are you ready for this? I'll I'll yeah. read this. If you want, we can put like the blog in like the description that this is on. Um, we can just put the link to it. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, Kazuyuki Ironhead Fujita made a fighting career out of having a thick skull. This is that skull story. Like many mixed martial arts, Fujita started as a wrestler. Unlike many mixed martial artists, he never learned a second skill. <laughs> It would take him 60 minutes to describe to you what he thinks a kick is, and he attempts submission holds the same way he tries on hats, confusedly pulling in random directions with no results. What the fuck? That's because his stole is... Stole, wow. His skull is measurably thicker than a normal skull. Sounds like you, Cody. Thanks. It was me. I just had amnesia. If you were to take an x-ray of it, you'd fire your medical equipment for coming into work drunk. (laughs) He was created by filling a cement truck with coconut sperm, and no one was more surprised than that cement truck. Coconut sperm. Since he was diagnosed with with this head, he has been searching for the man who would one day destroy it. I understand many readers don't follow or relate to the sport of mixed martial arts, but but those readers are in luck because I speak fluent nerd. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, okay, two things. First of all, how the fuck you can't do anything in this thing you you ain't will, you're not even willing to learn but you want someone to beat you and then also who is I don't the think author he was, of this I don't think he was really looking for someone to this break is just his the face. author's this is just like the author thing who is the author by the way so we can uh Sean baby January 14th 2010 Shawnee baby. Uh, Sean baby, I um, love this blog post. I love you for making this blog some post. Good wording, if sir, you're out there, or this ma'am. is amazing. Each section will have a nerd splation to help everyone enjoy the skull's Nerds. terrible and ridiculous journey. Oh, God. So, here's the first portion of the journey, right? Yeah. Fujita's skull versus Mark <laughs> Kerr, the birth of FFS. Fujita's skull. Not even him. In Fujita's fourth professional fight, he faced 260 veinty pounds of oh, veiny. He faced Ew. 260 veiny pounds of world-class <laughs> wrestling and emotional issues named Mark Kerr. <laughs> Using a style of kickboxing based around the tango and signaling rescue planes, Fujita hopped around like a scarecrow in gunfire while Mark Kerr blasted him in the face with punches and knees. Jesus, dude. Mark Kerr wasn't exactly Bruce Lee himself, but when you bench press 600 pounds, just swinging your paw through the air is going to knock salmon out of every river for two miles. Oh, shit. Here's the nerd splation. Yeah. To put the damage Fujita's face took into perspective, steroid users couldn't measure their dicks for an entire year <laughs> when Mark Kerr hit a button on a calculator and killed the number two. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm sure... <laughs> What the fuck? I'm sure you've seen a shortened bust filled with... (laughs) Wow, he says that? Filled with retarded children. Oh, we're going to have to bleep it. It's fine. It's in the context of the story. I guess. I'll allow it. uh, We apologize. This is quote. This is a quote. quote. 
Well, that Don't was just a regular school bus before Mark Kerr waved at it. For three minutes, everything either fighter did resulted in a hard part of Mark Kerr getting smashed into Fujita's medically impossible head. It looked like an industrial training video on how to turn a human into soup using just one naked man. If I was Fujita's family, I would have already been ordering a box of gorilla-sized diapers and flashcards so he could relearn all of our names. Dear God. <laughs> what a... <laughs> What the fuck? But this face suicide was all part of Fujita's plan. I want to see the comments of this. After five minutes of savage anaerobic assault, Mark Kerr's brain and body agreed that it was time to give up. <laughs> he went fetal, and Fujita punched the back of his head for ten minutes. Which in, which He just let him punch the back of his head? Which, in back of the head time, is fucking forever. Back of the head time? This, super, this surprising oh. win led to the invention of the Fujita Fight System, or FFS, which would serve him well throughout his career. Let's go over the basics. 1. Receive beating until opponent falls asleep. 2. Maul opponent's unconscious body. 3. Realize that the celebration banana was a trick and you've once again been led into a cage for self tra safe transport. This is literally just how to train your rock. <laughs> how to train your pet rock for fighting. Alright, so that was that was his fight against this Mark Kerr, who punched the living <laughs> shit out of Fujita for like yeah. <laughs> the whole match, but got <laughs> nowhere and just got <laughs> tired. Well, you know, if, if headshots don't work, you would aim somewhere else no, on the dude, body. No, dude, this motherfucker wanted that face, like, <clears throat> dented in. What a fucking idiot. Alright. He deserves to lose after that. Fujita's skull versus <laughs> Ken Shamrock. Helmet laws are for pussies. <laughs> Next, Fujita Jesus. fought Ken Shamrock. Throughout Ken's long MMA career, this is easily the greatest, perform <clears throat> greatest performance he's ever had. He unloaded on Fujita. <sighs> every punch and kick of every combination landed exactly on Fujita's chin. I swear, <laughs> Fujita mailed Ken Fujita's Shamrock chin. a list of every move he was going to do, and Ken got together with Jean-Claude Van Damme to plan the most <laughs> destructive and beautiful ways to counter them. Jean-Claude maybe did a little consulting on Fujita's side, too, since the only move that Fujita landed in the Atar fight was a crotch attack. This showdown <laughs> continued for six minutes. What kind of bastard does that? Ken Shamrock's extensive martial arts training versus a mix-up in Fujita's head DNA. Oh. But Shamrock was no match for FFS. Something strange happened. Ken beat this man that so hard that he, no bullshit, started having heart palpitations and his corner threw in the towel. Ooh. Seriously, Fujita took a beating so severe that the man doing it had a goddamn heart attack. <laughs> That's not a heart attack, but... I guess it was a strategy devised by his stand-up coach, Anna Nicole Smith's vagina. What the fuck? That's probably a timed reference I don't, that I can't understand. I, all of this is very cheeky. Tongue, and while doctors were treating Ken Shamrock, the only thing that was hurt on Fujita was the team of archaeologists that happened to be exploring his skull's upper mantle at the time. What the fuck? <laughs> Turns out he had a metal plate. Here's a nerd's plation. Oh, good. When creating characters in video games, you often have to make <laughs> sacrifices. This is For example, no. your rogue doesn't have enough points to learn mutilate and killing spree. Yeah. It's the same thing when scientists create ingenious skulled punching bag monsters. Oh. If you spring for invincible head, there aren't enough points left over to put into agility. Yeah, no Fujita actually has a negative 65 to dodge, <laughs> which means cars instinctively swerve into him, <laughs> and it takes 10 minutes and a man-shaped hole in the wall to get through a doorway. Jesus Christ, bro. What a fucking mongoloid. <laughs> what is this man? <laughs> well, it keeps, what is it keeps, he? It keeps going. I mean, sure, it's extremely exaggerated, probably, <laughs> but still. Fujita's skull versus Crow Cop Fuji... Fu Ah, Fujita's skull versus Crocop. Fujita's skull takes a job at the female ejaculation plant. <laughs> Japan has a childlike fascination with strange matchups. If two things are stupidly different, Japan will put them in a cage and see what happens. <laughs> All their fight cards have at least one match between a giant fat guy and something that resemble and something that looks like it should be making Christmas toys. Damn. If a man with no arms and a man with no legs started learning karate, the same light bulb would appear over every head in Japan. 
That's right. Glue them together and see if they can kill a panda. What? <laughs> what? Through their own experiments, every Japanese parent knows exactly how what? many rhinoceros beetles you have to put in a baby's crib to make it a fair fight. What the fuck is going on right I now? What is this, this is person all quote. saying? This is all Everything quote. Everything here is being quoted. This is not a... And I guarantee you that when like the it. first cheeseburger comes to life, Japan will throw it in the ring with a sumo wrestler before it ever gets a chance to lead us to our better lives in the sky. Is he just talking shit on Japan? It sounds Is that like it, yes. what's going on. So it's no surprise that fight promoters decided to put him in a ring with Crow Cop. Take the man with the crazy hard head and put him in the ring with the guy who kicks heads crazy hard. Oh. The result might surprise you. Partially exploded head. Mm. In an explosion of blood and duh, Crow Cop <laughs> measured Fujita's slow motion takedown attempts and threw a knee into his eyeball just as <laughs> just as he was coming in. Fujita didn't even notice. It takes so long for light to reach the center of his head <laughs> that he wouldn't even know one of his eyes was gone for 11 minutes. Oh my god! So all he did was finish the takedown and try and drown Crow Cop in ocular blood. The referee oh. had to initiate a life raft just to paddle over and stop oh the fight. Oh my god. Nerd splation. Yeah. For a Japanese fight promoter, Fujita's cranium is like a boss monster they're seeing for the first time. <laughs> There are no, They are so compelled and excited to destroy it, but the only thing they can do is hit it with every weapon in their inventory until something works. This was their Eureka moment. Holy water bounces off, Ifrit hits for zero, Bubble Lead actually heals him. Fuck, look how much Crow Cop took off. <laughs> so what, Crow Cop's dude's... the first to hurt him? Crow Cop made his eye explode, apparently. God <laughs> damn. Or like his socket or something. Oh, that's awful. This is straight terrible. Fujita Skull versus Crow Cop. Again, we must destroy that which we love. <laughs> After engineers desi designed a needle capable of it, they stitched Fujita's, Fujita's skin back together and he was given a rematch against Crow Cop. <laughs> Fujita should win this one, right? I mean, Whoa. what are the chances that something with almost 100% certainty will happen twice? <laughs> In what took him 29 seconds, oh. Fujita watched the 18 seconds of the first fight carefully and devised the perfect plan to defeat Crow Cop. Exactly the same thing. Oh my god. He charged in with takedowns and Crow Cop countered by kneeing him in the head, but instead of taking them with the front of his head, he blocked them with the top of his head. Oh good. For crashing knee after crashing knee, Crow Cop's giraffe legs were screaming for Fujita's spine to become paralyzed and the fucking thing was too stupid to understand. FFS doesn't work against Crow Cop. Instead of throwing mm. frantic combinations, Crow Cop likes to take his time and throw one big kick that only dis only gets described during the eulogy. Oh. You can't tire him out or give him a heart attack by pretending to be his soccer ball. The only thing Fujita's invincibility did for him in this fight was let Crow Cop's knees manufacture, yeah, manufacture cubic zirconium against his forehead until time ran out. Oh. Nerd splation. Imagine for a moment that Scooter, the go-bot that turns into a scooter, yes. fought the Constructicons. Constructicons. If moments into the fight, they formed a Devastator, they formed oh, Devastator oh. and stomped on him, yeah. you'd be surprised at how simple and unsurprising that was. That was what this fight was like. No one could have predicted that every single obvious thing we expected would happen. <laughs> Jesus. That is depressing, dude. Fujita's Skull versus Fedor Emili mm. Emilian... Emilianenko, sorry. So he actually lost against the first guy. Or the Fujita program. Skull versus Fedor Emilianenko. A new hope. Oh, good. By this point in his career, the world now knows that Kazuyuki Fujita has only two assets. A clumsy takedown and a force field where his brain's reflexes should be. Oh, Jesus. So Pride Fighting Championships decided he was ready to take what? on the best fighter in the world, Fedor Emelianenko. What is his head protecting up there? Because I it's don't clearly know. nothing. According to this guy, we're only getting a perspective. We're not actually getting the yeah, real Yeah, we're just getting story. a perspective. This, like, is, this is this author's perspective. I'm about to like check out this dude's Wikipedia like, we need to, like, right yeah, after Yeah, we need this. to check the real wiki and see what actually happened. Fight promoters apparently gave up on finding someone who could beat the guy, and now they were just using him to construct further stress tests on Fujita's head. Oh my god. They were sure that Fedor would be the only thing to finally crack it open and allow evil scientists to reverse engineer his remains, almost certainly to grow a more durable sex melon and unkillable robots to fuck them. 
A sex film. Then, Fujita did something that surprised even him. What? He almost won. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. He landed a knee-buckling counterpunch that to this day is the closest anyone has come to defeating Fedor. Mm. In a waste Somehow. of his body's natural punching bag camouflage, he was about to beat someone by hitting them. <gasps> Big surprise. Unfortunately, Fedora found a practical solution to Fujita. Get behind him, grab his unbreakable head, and yank it the fuck off his body. Oh. The official fight records call it a rear naked choke, but that's like calling Tiananmen Square a wet t-shirt contest. Oh my god. If the ref hadn't stopped him, Fedor was going to take that head home to his spaceship and polish it. Jesus, predator reference. Nerdsplation, I think that last play that last part was already a nerd. Yeah. So some dude tried to Oh, I can't break his head. I'm just gonna fucking sever it from his body. <laughs> He's just trying to kill him at that point. Fujita's skull versus Wanderlei Silva on the wings of hope. Wait, how much more is there? I don't. Uh, oof. There's quite a bit more, but we'll 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 we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Oh. I want. I need to have the. I need to get this story out. It's fucking great. Okay. Crow Cop proved that Fujita's head is living tissue over a metal endoskeleton, and then Fedor proved that it will surrender if you start to sever it from its body. Mm. But Japanese fight promoters still hadn't gotten a chance to see someone just pound on it until it cracked. Will it explode? You will explode. Will it explode? Oh my God! Jesus, Sorry. dude. For some reason, this is the one that's just, getting me. Yeah. Will it explode when you expose expose its core? Fuck! Jesus wow. Christ. My head's like my head's like melting. Your head's getting this. kicked in from reading this. Is it filled with something that you can rape with an octopus? <laughs> that's when it hit them. Wanderlei Silva. That guy hates skulls. <laughs> At the time, the country of Japan was using Wanderlei Silva to control the fighter population, and they occasionally dragged him on a chain through the ocean to hunt whales in the lar in the least humane way possible. The fight was a massacre. <laughs> oh my god! Fujita tried every every both of his techniques against Wanderlei. Mm. He slowly waited to get punched and laid on top of him without doing anything. Neither worked. Wait, what year was this? <laughs> this this was written in 2010, but I don't know when the fights were. They sound like a, a a more dated Japan. Oh, absolutely. Maybe before, uh, like when radios were. were no, no, no. This is after that, I think. Is it? Neither worked, and Wanderlei eventually got to his feet and stalked Fujita like a Japanese octopus in an all-female prison. <sighs> he hit him as hard as you can hit someone many times. Oh, my God. And every time Fujita fell down, Silva That's kicked awful. him in the head as if he were going for a 70-yard field goal. Fuck. None of this did anything. Half the arena was crying since they thought they were watching one ape administer the death penalty to another, and the other half was dead from shockwaves. <laughs> Silva kept punching him down, kicking him, watching him get up, and starting from the top. Someone outside the ring, or probably just a chunk of shrapnel, hit the <laughs> bell, and the referee declared it a knockout. But what? Fujita was already back up before the words were out of his mouth. Why'd they stop it? He had Wanderlei right where he wanted him. What? Nerdsplation. Science can't explain this. Wanderlei dropped a shock and awe campaign on that head and couldn't hurt it. The fight was stopped only to get everyone's car alarms to shut up. And oh. it had nothing to do with Fujita's safety. Fujita was probably back to identifying simple shapes that very night. Jesus, dude. Fujita's skull versus James Thompson. Don't call it a comeback. I was kind of never here. Oh my god. James Thompson is an imposing figure. So imposing that during the stare down, Fujita admired his abs and groin area and gave him an approving thumbs up. What? It was unprecedentedly inappropriate, but there was a science to this flirting. FFS works a lot better if your opponent comes at you in a completely incoherent homophobic rage. <laughs> And James Thompson did. Oh my god. <laughs> Thompson manhandled him, hitting him with hundreds of unanswered punches and knees. Oh no. He was going to prove he wasn't gay, even if he had to thrust every last bit of his <laughs> vitamin-supplemented shirtless body against Fujita's beast-like hide. You just say Vegeta like twice? Fujita. 
I think it sounded like Vegeta. It's, it's, it's <laughs> it sounds like it, Vegeta. Sometimes it's hard. It sounds like Vegeta's getting his. It dick probably wig. smelled like a leather smoothie, but gayer than that sounds. <laughs> what does that mean? Nerd splation. After taking an eight-minute beating that mocked mankind's entire understanding of physics oh, and medicine, no. Fujita started throwing his own punches. Drunken, woman-like punches. But when you're James Thompson and you recently spent eight minutes heaving 550 pounds of violent meat around a ring, you'll take any excuse you can get for a nap. By this point of the fight, Fujita could have screamed boo and knocked him out. <laughs> but he had to save his voice. He had a screaming date with Lou Ferrigno later. Oh, good. <laughs> Fujita's skull versus Alistair Overy. So wait. The final crusade. Did he win? Or? <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I don't... Alistair Overeem is a Dutch kickboxer who looks like someone at Marvel Com Comics drew a man genetically engineered to fuck your girlfriend. Oh, oh. And at the end of twenty, at the end of two thousand nine, this giant black Thor beast hit <laughs> Everton. What? Hit Everton Tessera, Tessera with a knee that adjusted the planet's tides. Oh no! Police were already taping off Alistair's leg before Everton dropped face first into the canvas with his eyes open. During the replay, you can actually hear the knee call gunshot wounds pussies. <laughs> Japanese fight promoters saw this and had a great idea. Dear Restraints God. that taste like fish. But right before that, this could be a man to finally shatter Fujita's iron head. Oh, no. They set up the fight for New Year's Eve. The 39-year-old wrestler with an advantageous birth defect versus six and a half feet of death-dealing emasculation. Oh, boy. This wasn't oh just a battle God. between genetic perfection and someone born out of head sorcery. It was possibly Japan's last chance to experiment on this skull that had given them so much joy and baffling medical data over the years. Just short of literal definition, the fight began with Alistair beating the shit out of Fujita. Kazuyuki Fujita has been in a constant state of what you, would call, you and I would call near death for ten years. Oh. But this is the first time I've ever seen him look scared. Fujita? Fujita, yes. <laughs> After Overeem lands two knees, Fujita backs into a corner, then sheepishly tries sneaking past. Alistair punches him back into the corner and lands a third knee that I swear lights on fucking fire before it impacts. Oh, 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 oh. Here's the crazy part, though. He doesn't get back up. Oh. He stays on the ground, holding his head as baffled as the rest of us. I have a theory that the previous 17,000 blows to the head all gave him amnesia, and this one Looney Tunes bonk gave his head all its memories back. Oh, shit. Japan finally got what it wanted, only there was no candy surprise inside of Fujita. Oh. There was no tiny pilot demanding to know why you humans broke his ape ship. <laughs> Just a guy with a decade's worth of fist craters and bad decisions <laughs> catching up to him all at the oh, same time. Oh, no. It'd be almost tragic if you could no. look away from the slow-motion rippling of Alistair's muscles in the instant what? replay. What a terrible way. Nerdsplation. In the Secret Wars, the Human Torch was being choked <laughs> by Ultron, oh, a robot no. completely encased in adamantium. And obviously, fire doesn't do much against any metal from the Kul Kulnamium family, so Torch went Nova so he could at least look awesome as he died. However, Ultron stopped. His shell was intact, but the Nova Flames melted something important inside him. I think that's what we're dealing with here. Oh. Alistair couldn't figure out how to crack Fujita's skull, so he simply hit it hard enough that everything in it turned to liquid. One would imagine that we're talking about a brain, but remember, this is the same man who fought all these terrifying people with his face alone. Would a brain come up with that plan? There's still oh. so much we don't know. I say we go back to the drawing board with the Fujita Skull Experiments, Japan. I miss them already. Was that it? That was it. So... That was the story won, of Kazuyuki Fujita. He won a few times, and the rest of the times, he was just getting his ass Oh, shit, beat. here's his Wikipedia. I'm gonna look... Oh, please, fact check this shit. Because uh, that was a heavily dramatized uh, article. Which is fine, but, you know me okay it's a little much <laughs> what dramatic elements oh god what it's dramatic elements <sighs> oh geez there's so much shit here to read oh. basically what like year did that is place? a place what year did it take place? Well, that last match was 2009. Oh, that was super was recent. It, 
was that last night or or the last in the fight or was that I don't remember. Either way, this motherfucker is insane. Oh wait a minute. There's oh my god, I accidentally hit a different thing. There's Kazuyuki Fujita. Wait, what does he look like? He's still alive. No death date. No shit. He spoke in uh, Shibuya, Tokyo oh, in July of 20, uh, 2018. Mm. Fix the mic here. Other names. Ol Ironhead, the last disciple of oh, Antonio Ironhead. Inoki, the last successor of Inokism, Inokism, Wild Beast, and the Real Beast. He is six foot even. <sighs> Ironhead. He is 240 pounds. He's a big dude. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. He's a decent He size. was taught by Antonio Inoki, Satoru Sayama, and Marco Ruaz. After that steaming pile of reports. No shit. What? Years active, 2000 to 2009. Yeah. 2013. 2016 to present. Kazuyuki Fujita is still, still doing this. He's still at here's his Here's his MMA record. 18 wins, 14 losses. It's pretty even. Nine that's, wins. That sounds like my KD and COD. Nine wins by <laughs> knockout, seven by submission, and two by decision. His losses, eight by knockout, two by submission, and four by decision. Dear God. He has championships? Damn. 2000, 2000 oh. Extreme Shootout, the Underground Tournament winner, 2000 Rookie of the Year. Bro, I would have retired. 2000 Pride Opening Weight, Open Weight Grand Prix semifinalist. Oh my God! This dude's got this dude's got a history. I've never actually oh looked up like God. what he's got. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Fucking Nick! This is great. I'm I'm sad that Nick didn't. Dude, get to hear good this. for good for Kazuyuki Fujita, man. Like, if this dude is kicking ass to this day, how the fuck is he still like not died though? Like those might have been over dramatizations, but they had For to come. Sure, they had to come had from somewhere. They had to be brutal enough to come. They had from... to come from somewhere, and that shit. Yeesh. Again, super thanks to the person who wrote that back in 2018. Who was it again? I'll, I'll... I thought you said 2010. Oh yeah, I'm... I got the fucking Wikipedia on my phone. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Uh, Sean Baby. Sean Baby, if you're still out there. Uh, this is an amazing. Some of your your wording might be a little like it's dated. It's, it's dated. a little well, not even that, but little like holy shit, like Tiananmen Square, man. Woo! Damn, I don't know Ooh. if it's that bad. That one didn't age quite so well. <laughs> classics but uh um, oh, that's the story i wanted to share that has been a favorite that, of mine for so long that is fucking brutal oh my god that. kazuki fujita if you're listening which you're not uh love you dude what do you mean keep up the good fight he's totally listening oh yeah he's our biggest fan he's our first subscriber he's our only subscriber kazuki i gotta watch some of your fights dude like i gotta like <laughs> shit oh my god but yeah, I mean that was that was great. How are you? <laughs> Did you have anything you wanted to anything you wanted to add? Any more topics you have? Because you look like you're starting to fucking fall asleep over there. <laughs> you mean you weren't interested in that story? That was an amazing story. No, it was. I'm just very tired from work. Yeah, me too. Definitely glad we didn't go to the gym today. I would have been done <laughs> <I would laughs> next week. Next week fell. for sure. Yeah, next week we are though. Uh, this next week, week for sure. This week stuff came up. So yeah, yeah. How are you on time? I know I asked all the That time, story but... was the majority of the cast. Well, then we have a title. <laughs> 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 Fucking Christ, dude. Easy peasy. I wanted to talk about stuff, but I don't know what to talk about. So I guess we gotta... You can't follow... You just it. can't follow that up. I, I can't. You can't. Like, there's nothing <laughs> you can follow that... There's nothing you can say. That fucked up article. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Nick, if you're hearing this, fucking stop sleeping, you bitch. You missed out on amazing stuff. <laughs> you missed story. out on the goofiest shit ever. The story's so good. Oh, my God. Oh, I love it. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> All right. I think I think I'm going to have to call it. You're calling it? Is this a shorter one? I wouldn't call this short. Like, What's the time? What's the time? Fucking an hour, just about. Oh shit, let's go! But yeah, it's not short, but it's short on topics, yes. 
Yes. Uh, yes. Well, uh, I found us a topic that kept us entertained for the, you know. The duration of yeah. our life. Uh, that was. <laughs> God, dude. I'm going to be. God. <laughs> you okay, bro? Not after that. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, everybody, for listening to another episode of the Vitamin C Podcast. This one was a little bit of an odd one. This is, I just had, yeah. like, something I wanted to share. It's very simple. Episode 32. 32, if baby. If you want to go check out our... Well, I was knocked over the mics. If I'm you want to uh, go check out our social medias, they're pretty much dead. Phase two, though. Phase two, we're Phase working two, on it. we're working on it. Uh, we're going to do stuff. I'm going to be leaving the link in the link description. to this little blog post. Uh, it's on Cracked. I've never heard of Cracked. Oh, before. Cracked said that? It's on Cracked, like the song Cracked. I love Cracked. Yeah. See? Cracked. Yeah, they have a YouTube channel that's fucking hilarious. They're uh they're similar to another channel. I can't remember. Either way. The name of. Thank you everybody for listening. Uh tune in next week for ep- well, episode 30. Can't really tune in cuz this is going to be posted next week. Yeah. Just get my tune in. Tune in for this episode <laughs> next week. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be recording another one. <laughs> yeah. But Maybe we'll actually have a guest yeah, this time. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a guest. Maybe we we'll get Kyle him. back. I want to get Kyle back. We can get Kyle back. I really like having him on. I think it was funny. Kyle shit. was fun. I, but this I time the one. audio is going to be a lot better. Oh, I hope to God, yeah. I I definitely got shit down packed this time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, how would you, uh, anything you want to say before we send off? Yeah, this morning I woke up like super like hype and the, and then really angry because in my dream right before I woke up, I got an email notification like right there where my phone charges and in my dream I turned over, picked up the phone and I looked and it said the company where I ordered my GPU that still hasn't come yet and I'm like, oh, oh, and I and I go and there's just a bunch of text, but it's just like blurry, so I can't oh. read it. And then I wake up, oh. and then I'm like, it's a sign. I turned around. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? I had a dream that I got a PS5. <coughs> that sucked too. <coughs> and, uh. Damn. Anyway. But yeah, no, AMD is struggling. It's an AMD GPU, so. Fuck you, NVIDIA, for hogging all the goddamn silicone. Say what you will, but it's a good business practice for them. Yeah, but it's a dickhead business It's a dickhead practice. move, but good for them. Shit. All right. See you all, all right. on episode 33. Peace. Bye-bye.